Well, hello, my friends, and welcome back to JTMJ Crafts. Today, we're working on a special shaped diamond painting, and we are going to show you a painting that I finished and another painting that I started. And we're going to get into a wimpin' chat. So I picked this one out because it's got pinks in it. Um, there's some pinkies in there. Uh, these ones. They're a pink AB coated. So, and plus the picture's got a lot of pink print on it. So... That's what I'm going with. Uh, my other painting is right here. And it's this one. And I've already got one section done. And I started to outline the other section. Because this one, I'm having to uh, checkerboard. Because I am having popping drills. And it is quite free, quite honestly pissing me off. So, we're taking a break from that one. We're going to work on this one. So, let's go ahead and pull some of this plastic back and start working on some of this. How are you guys? I hope everybody's been well. I know I've been here and there, not here, not there. I've kind of been all over the place had a lot going on in my personal life and this it's time to come back to YouTube again and try to get into the groove of things and get into a schedule trust me I've I am I got my bestie to help me with, throughout this and she's been amazing but we've been helping each other come up with ideas for videos and I have a planner now so I can plan out my weeks and everything goes smooth. So the reason why I've been gone and I have not really done much of anything of YouTube besides throw up an unboxing here or go live there and then disappear for a while and then pop back up is work. Work is ridiculous right now. I can't get away with anything right now. I I'm telling I my work hours have gone from either 40 hours a week up towards the the top of like almost 70 hours a week and I'm just exhausted by the time it gets done with the day. I gotta come home, I gotta take care of my babies, and take care of all of that, plus take care of myself, and getting myself some food, and also, you know, trying to have a life, go out, you know, meet people, I did meet this really cool person, uh, a friend introduced me to her, so... I might be going out with her soon. Um, it, it's just life in general kind of has a priority over, over top of YouTube. I, I hate saying that because I really truly love you guys and want to continue doing YouTube for the fun of YouTube. Not worrying about BS and drama and who says this and who says that because I'm not in fucking high school anymore. I really can give two fucking shits less what happens on YouTube. Drama that people are in. the Everything. I really I don't care. That's why I stick to myself. I stick to my bestie and I don't... There's, there's literally a handful of people that I still watch on YouTube because it's just it's so drama filled. And I just I'm over that. I'm not in high school. I don't need all of that, you know? So 
I mean, only a select few of people that I actually watch still on YouTube from the diamond painting world, so, but anyways, I'm trying my best to come back, I am working, and it sucks right now because we just let go of one of my co-workers, so my, my hours just increased even more, my workload just increased even more, so, I'm like, I, 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 one, I need a raise, two, I, feel like I'm overworked to the point where when I get home from work some days, I literally feed my dogs and let them outside to go to the bathroom and I crash on the couch and I'm done, burnt, like, stick a fork in me. And, and call me done because like you're not gonna get me up off that couch once I sit down there and then it comes to the point where I I feel guilty because I'm not putting up content especially to my patreons I hate going out without putting up something throughout the week for my patreons so even if I'm gone from YouTube for any amount of time I'm always posting to my Patreon, so, gotta, gotta keep ahead of everything, but, I'm working on, I'm getting better, I'm finally kind of coming out of my, sh my depressed self, and I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel, and I, I'm getting better, um, I was, I was just going through some hard times. I got my sugar boo over here, Trapper Dude. He's just, he's just over here, just like, don't forget about me, Dad. And plus, now I have my free therapist, which is my bestie. So if anything, every time anything I ever need anything, she's always there. She's in. It it pays off having a bestie because they tell when something's wrong with you when you're not feeling right or something's up they, like she knows me and she was like what's wrong I guess she, I can be read like a book from her I guess but uh, but yeah so the plan is is to go start doing lives again um, and once a week, my plan is to post a video to YouTube. Um, it may be diamond painting content, it may be wood burning content, it may be bracelet making content, because I recently started making friendship bracelets, and I love them. I love making them, so maybe I can get on here one day and make those with you guys or something, I don't know. But... The video wise it's gonna and even native native feeding I'm trying to use my weekends wisely because right now we are going into well we're not quite there yet because it's still a hundred and freaking five here but we're getting close to going into our rainy season so Right now, I am literally consisting of prepping for firewood, getting everything ready that way. Um, so, my weekends are kind of on that right now. Um, I haven't even been hunting yet. Um, it is really sad to say that, but I have not been hunting uh, this year. Uh, unfortunately, due to land closure... Uh, due to wildfires, all the areas that I want to hunt is closed. Um, if I want to go hunting, I have to go up to like 8,000 feet in elevation. And from everybody that I've talked to, because all the lands that we normally hunt is closed, everybody that's hunting is up there in that 8,000 foot elevation hunting, and they're not seeing hardly anything. So I'm like, I'm I'm not gonna waste my time. 
I'm gonna hope and pray that we get some rain come soon and they open up that that land so we can get in there and go hunting. Um, if they don't open up the land, then I guess I'm out of a deer tag this year, and I will not be eating any venison. Um, but if they do open that property, I can still go up in there after deer season ends, and I can still go over there and bear hunt, and I can have at least... Hopefully, try to harvest the bear and have some bear meat for the season. At least have something to eat that's not beef. So that's that. And I, I'm promising y'all, I pinky swear with y'all, that I'm not going to just leave you guys high and dry this time. I'm actually going to pull myself, pull my shit together. I get my shit together and get on a schedule and start going live. So that's why, uh, if you guys are wondering, live streams are going to be changing. Live streams. Now, I may, maybe once I get to a point where I'm comfortable with the schedule, I may start doing a secondary live throughout the week where maybe I play some games and you guys just come hang out and chat with me while I play games. Um, I have this new hunting game that I, I love to death. I, I get home from work every day. I feed the dog. I feed the cat. I feed the lizard. And I come in here and I sit down for like an hour, hour and a half. And I just veg out and play my hunting game. And it puts me into a better mind state and clears my head and relaxes me. And since I'm not being able to hunt in real life right now, so, and the best part about it is, it's a game that I got on my PC, and, oops, phone, where's my phone, I'm, I'm not doing this, this video on my phone, I am trying it out on, um, um, night bestie, um, on OBS, how I go live with you guys. Um, how I go live with you guys, I can record through there. So that I'm trying that out right now. Um, for some reason, the last couple of times I've done a whip and chat on my phone. OBS, or not OBS, sorry, not OBS. Um, the last couple of times I've tried doing a whipping chat on my phone, like, so the other painting I showed you guys with the, the, the FU breast cancer, um, I got all that one section done because I kept recording whipping chats, and every time I record the whipping chat, it would freaking, I go to edit it, and it would be freaking corrupted files for some freaking reason. Three whipping chats I recorded and all corrupted files i was like you've got to be kidding me what is going on here i don't know if it's my phone if it's my sd card i don't know what it is but i'm thinking about getting a new phone because my phone's out of memory like i have hardly no memory on my phone i can literally record a weekly vlog for my patreons and my phone is full so, trying to record multiple videos on my phone, it, it's, it's very hard. I'm going to push this down and pull this side up now. Because I got some of the cam. So, yeah, that's the plan. And then Sundays, I stream on Twitch. Um, if anybody wants the link to Twitch, let me know. I'm not, like putting it in my discord or not my discord but my description box because some people um annoy me on twitch so it's trying to kind of stick to myself up there do my own thing so s saturday mornings is going to be the day that i try to do oops i moved that the wrong way
Oh, I'm... I'm moving this thing all over the place, and I'm looking in the camera. I Quit looking at the camera, Jeremy. Just look at the freaking picture in front of you. But yeah, so... What was I saying? Oh, shit. Oh, Saturday mornings is the new time to do a live. Uh, so... I'm gonna try it this Saturday. Um... I'm going to get up early in the morning and go live. If people show up, they show up. If they don't, they don't. It's the time for me that I'm available and I'm free to go live for a couple of hours and not have a worry about anybody else that's going live. Plus, it gives me the opportunity to get up early in the morning, start my day, wake up a bit, go live for an hour or two, or longer, um, and then still have plenty enough time to enjoy my day, and go do things, and go, go fishing, go hunting, go spend some time with friends, go on a date. So yeah, life's just been crazy, hectic, and busy. I, I'm not complaining one bit. Uh, I need to refresh my, my putty here. So I am using my besties putty. Um, and... Her putty's amazing. You guys will find out about it eventually, because whenever she opens up her shop officially, I will do an unboxing and show you guys who already who doesn't already know about it, because her stuff is amazing. And right now, that's pretty much the only thing that I literally have been using is her putty. And... It literally works for everything. Regular diamonds, special shapes, crystals, ABs, like, it all around works freaking phenomenal. Alright, so... Let's see... What else is there to talk about? Yeah, so, like I said, I've recorded this like three times now, so I'm probably not gonna remember to talk about some things that I wanted to talk about and never get the video right the second time or the third time or the fourth time. However many times I've recorded this damn thing. But anyways, um, I have a couple, let's see. What are you doing? I have a painting coming from Diamond Art Emporium. Um, that will be here in a couple of days. So I'll be doing an unboxing for that probably next week. Uh, like I said, I'm going to try to do one video a week until I get into a rhythm of things. And then maybe I'll only bump it up to two videos a week. Or maybe I'll do two lives a week, don't know right now, I just want to get into the rhythm of things and get back on to doing, doing my, my stuff for you guys, because I miss you guys, Trapper, what are you chewing on, your foot, you guys hear him back there, <laughs> chewing on the foot, does it taste good? 
over there gurgling with your foot. Come say hello. Trapper. You sound like a garbage disposal going off over there, kid. Yeah, you. What are you doing? Come here. Come here. And you know what? You can kick Rock's dog. I'm sick of his bullshit anyways. Someone's getting old and getting full of his freaking britches and he thinks he's too big for his britches and he thinks it's okay to go after his father and try to bite me when I was doing something the other day. He kept pushing his face on up against me by like like nudging me kept coming up to me and nudging me and then like taking his chin and like like rubbing it on my hands and like pushing my hand around like he was trying to tell me to like pet him or something and I literally took my my hand and I just pushed him away like to tell him to stop and he literally snapped at me and grabbed a hold of my hand with his mouth and I was like uh, you might want to let go of that because you're going to get punched in the face if you don't. And then he paused, opened his mouth, and, and then ran and hid. I was like, he, yeah, you better go hide or you're going to get your ass beat, dog. You do not attack me like that. All I was doing was pushing you away because you were being annoying. And I was in the middle of a phone call. And I was writing stuff down, and he kept just being an absolute jerk about things. And I was like, I'm going to bust your ass if you don't stop, dog. Let's see if I have enough cord here. This one. Yeah, this one, and then and there's the Mary Jane. Yeah, she's over there all sprawled out on my chair. She's got a newfound love for my chairs. I don't know what it is. Like, I play musical chairs with this cat. It it really, really is annoying because I'll get up and she'll literally, like, run over and sit down in my chair. And then I'll grab a different chair because I have, like, three different chairs in this craft room. I'll grab a different chair and I'll start using that and then I'll get up to go do something and I'll come back and she's sitting in that chair and I'm just like, okay, Chica, you you really got to stop this. This is my chair. You, you're not getting my chair. Um, so I might as well give an update on the kiddos. Everybody is doing fantastic as you see. Besides, Trapper's got a little bit of an attitude problem. He needs a little bit of an adjustment. Because he thinks he's too big for his britches. He thinks he's too good for for uh, his dad telling him to stop. But he learned his lesson real qu quick and in a hurry. Because after that, he just he knew he was in trouble. Guess what? <laughs> when he wanted food, sorry, I don't know how to feed you. What is food? Do you deserve to be fed? 
do you really think after putting my hand in your mouth and biting down on it, do you really think that I'm going to get up and come in there and feed you? No. He's sitting there at his food dish for probably a good 35, 40 minutes, something like that, before I decided I was going to go feed him. He sat there and barked at me and barked at me and barked at me trying to tell me to feed him. It was like an hour and some change past his time that he normally gets fed at. So you can tell he was like really hungry and really, really wanted to be fed. And I was like, well, guess what? You bite the hand that feeds you, son. You don't get fed. You need to learn, you learn your lesson. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. Because if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have a roof over your head. If it wasn't for me, you wouldn't have food. You wouldn't have a place to sleep. You wouldn't have someone to love you like I love you. Like, why are you seriously biting me? I don't understand it. Alright, let's see. Where is some more number one? Oh, I missed this little feather doohickey over here. Turn, turn, turn. So, yeah. Uh, Mary Jane. Oh, let's talk about this little shit ass. This little, sh little shit, shit, shit ass. Uh, Mary Jane, she decided that recently that she was going back to evil because she started biting me again. And... I don't know what her deal is. Literally, every time I am sleeping, if I move, like, one little teeny tiny little, like, move my hand, or move my arm, or move my leg, or roll over, or anything of that sort, like, anything like that, she instantly goes to bite a hold, grab a hold of my arm and start biting on it. And I'm telling you, this arm over here, I don't know if you can see it or not, let me see if I can put it in here, I can't really put it in here, but over here in this spot, they're, they're pretty much healed up now, but I had four bites right in a row on that side, because that's the side that faces her where she's sleeping at. I had four bites on my upper forearm, and then I had a couple, like down here, there's, that's a bite right there, right there's a bite, a little scar, and, um, right there's, a, right there's a bite, like, yeah, she just, for some reason, she's gone back to biting again, and it's really starting to piss me off, and then I don't know what her deal is, because she sits over there, it's like, she's got a whole half of my damn bed to sleep on, right? She decides that she's going to sleep on the edge of the bed, on my side of the bed, to where it feels like my blanket is pinned down and I can't move or roll over, and I try to move or roll over or do anything, and she gets all pissy. I, I can't stand it right now. I'm like, go sleep on the other side of the bed. You're already biting me every time I move on the other side of the bed. Just go back over there because I'm comfortable with you being over there. But I don't know what her deal is. She just, she thinks the whole bed is her bed for some reason. And then now she's starting to give Trapper attitude when he gets in the bed. She goes to attack him like, no, this is my bed. You can't be on my bed. And I'm just like, well, look, listen, Chica. He can be on this bed just as much as I can be on this damn bed. And y'all, y'all need to start getting along. And y'all, I had a, probably one of the biggest dog cat fights in my life between these two the other day. I swear to God, I thought Trapper was going to kill Mary Jane because I, 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 I don't really don't even know what happened. I was sitting on the couch on, I think it was Saturday morning last weekend. And I was just sitting on the couch just chilling and all of a sudden all hell breaks out freaking dog cat fight and I'm just like whoa 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 I start yelling at him I get in there Trapper's got Mary Jane 
scruffed up, throwing her around. And she's freaking fighting him, putting it back, giving it right back to him. And I'm just like, y'all need to freaking knock this crap off. The fudge. You guys have lived together for fucking eight years. Because Trapper's eight years old now. Like, what the frick is your problem? Sorry, if you don't like my, my language, you can leave. I really don't care. It's my channel. It's my language. I love the F word. Which is really surprised you probably don't hear every other word out of my mouth. I love it that much. Uh, so yeah, like, just psychotic with these two. And I don't know what the hell their deal is. Where did I just see those ones at? Right there. Yeah, so, dealing with a dog and a cat that, for some reason, all of a sudden, want to fight and don't want to be around each other or anything, it really, really annoying. But anyway, so that's them. Um, I hope you guys are all doing better than my dog and cat are doing, because they're having a mental freaking breakdown. end of life crisis bullshit going on over here in my house. Um, somebody asked me the other day if Thor was dead, and I was like, dude, what? Is Thor dead? And I was like, oh, why the fuck would you think Thor's dead? Hello? Um, you guys would be the first to know if if any of my animals die, I would put it on Instagram or Facebook or whatever. You guys would automatically freaking know. Like, come on. Why would anybody think that? Like, Thor's my baby. Like, I, you guys would, I would be very, very sad if Thor passed away. And you guys would be the first to know about it. No, Thor's still alive and kicking. He is going through his bromation cycle right now, where it's his time of the year where he likes to sleep and be cozy, hibernate. He's not dead. I love the smack, the pop, the Rice Krispie Pops. You tell some good putty when you got that pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. But anyways, so I started watching this new series on Netflix. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. It's called Lucifer. Anybody who watched Netflix and watch Lucifer. It's so freaking good. Oh my god, it's so good. And then I started watching... Well, before I started watching uh, Lucifer, I started watching Outer Banks. Anybody watch Outer Banks? That show had me hooked from the first episode, and I watched all six... Or not six, sorry. Three seasons from start to finish. Twice how hooked I was on it. I watched it all three seasons, back to back, twice. And then I, I, I had to, because I went through the first three seasons super, super duper fast. Like I, like I blew through them because I was like literally watching them all day long, all night long, all day long. And, and then I found out that the new season four is coming out on October 10th. And I was like, oh shit, I gotta go back through and, and have a recap of everything and kind of figure out what I've missed and what I didn't miss and what I caught first and what I didn't catch and oh my god I would had it had me again from the first freaking episode I was hooked love it I hate kooks I'm a pogue uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about you need to go watch Outer Banks 
books are the richy, the richy rich people, and pogues are the lower class, working class people. Alrighty then. So yeah, those are the shows I started watching. Anybody watch those shows, let me know. If you have another show that you like to watch on Netflix, let me know because I'm... <coughs> Excuse me. If I am not gaming, I'm watching Netflix or YouTube's. shows on uh so telling you this single placing has been a pain in the ass for me because I am not a single placer I am a total multi placer I do not like single placing I use a multi placer literally for everything I'll use a 6 to a 7 to a 15 and I can place if I use a 7 I can place one diamond with that 7 or I can place two diamonds three diamonds four diamonds five diamonds six diamonds seven diamonds like I have a method to my madness when it comes to diamond painting and multi placing and this is out of my league. I like out of my, not, sorry, not my league, my element. Out of my element. And I'll show you guys why it's out of my element as soon as I finish this color over here. Um, I've been working on this other painting that I got from Amazon. I showed you guys it. It's the F Cancer painting I got from Amazon. Um, the reason why I'm multi-placing it one is because or sorry single placing not multi placing one it's a mounted film adhesive painting which there's nothing wrong with them I've I've you've done a, several of them in the past with Treasure Studios art and that's what they used so I've I've done several with them and there's no issue with them except for when you place your diamonds you don't have any forgiveness you can't move them around they're like once they're on there they are freaking on there they, like you can't move them you're gonna end up and try to push them around and you're gonna end up pull up the mounted film adhesive and then you're gonna ruin a big spot on your canvas <coughs> excuse me I started out with this canvas and I started multi-placing because that's that's my jam. I'm a multi-placer. I love multi-placing. And then I got to the point where I couldn't go any further. Let me grab a drink real fast. Pause for one second. Although I don't know how to pause this. That's alright. Don't need to pause it because I'm right here. I'm gonna get my, my sodi pop that I had from dinner. I went to Carl's Jr.'s and got me a sodi pop. Uh, went to Carl's Jr., which, if you guys don't know what Carl's Jr.'s is, it's like a Hardee's. Um, I went there, got me some, got me a big old double cheeseburger and french fry. It was good. So we're going to start with this section right here. So yeah, um, <clears throat> that's how things have been going lately. I don't know what I was talking about. I kind of got sidetracked when I got my soda. And my brain was like, yeah, you don't remember what you're talking about. So we're just going to go on something else. Uh, but yeah, so all of the kiddos are fine. Um, the new leopard gecko is good. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I 
kind of adopted a leopard gecko from my friend, gave it a good home, she's doing good, my leopard gecko, Nooms is doing fantastic, the blue lizard, um, the blue belly lizard that I call Bluey, or Shinonage, he's doing fantastic fantastic he's just a little porker little guy he's just living life happy as can be everybody's doing fantastic i'm gonna try to post uh i need to poke my wax i'm gonna try to post some pictures of all of the fur babies here real soon and just to give everybody an update on everything and prove to people that Thor is not dead. Ah, <sighs> good old people. Why not? Like, don't get me wrong. Don't get me. I'm just gonna shut up. You're gonna get me started. And it's gonna get me riled up. It's gonna piss me off. Nah. But anyways, so. All the animals are good. I'm good. Work's just been hectic. And I'm trying to get back into the swing of things, like I said. And hopefully soon, you won't even know I was gone. It'll just be every weekend we'll be doing a live. Wednesdays we'll do a video. Although this Wednesday I didn't put one up because my files were all corrupted. So, it's going up Thursday. Not that big of a deal. Not that big of a deal. Goes up a day late. Oh, well. Life goes on. But, are you guys excited for DP Pink for BCA? I am super excited that it's here. Um, if you guys don't know what DP Pink for BCA is, under a rock somewhere um that is a breast cancer awareness event that my bestie started i believe three or four years ago i am not 100 percent positive i think three i think that's what we came across the other day was three and this is i think my second year or actually no this is my third year doing the event, but my second year hosting, co-hosting the event, because I did a painting for this event, um, when she first, my bestie first started this event, actually, I got both of them right here in front of me, this is the first painting I did for the event, and that's the second painting I did for the second year. So yeah. I've been there since the start. And I love, love, love this event. It brings back so many memories. I try, I'm trying this year to not let things get to me. I got my bestie, who is my free therapist that helps me out on a daily basis. And life has been a whole lot easier whole lot better. Let me make sure I didn't miss any colors. Number one is done. Let me grab, oh crap, I gotta move you guys for a second. I gotta get some baggies. Although, I don't see my... Oh, there they are. Sorry. No. Sorry. No. 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 Sorry. Shit. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not putting these in baggies. I forgot. I got this case off of Timu and I started 
using this case to put, oops, oops, there we go, to start putting my special shaped diamond paintings in here once I'm done with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this first one here. I will mark these all when I'm done. I have my little sticker maker, as you see here. This one's the breast cancer awareness one. I'll show you that painting here in just a second. I take these, pull these out. Get in there. I want you to, thank you. And that's how I'm keeping them stored after I complete them. It just helps keep everything in order. Now I'm I may end up and go along and and take and put um put these number by DMC. But for the time being, I'm just sticking them in there when I'm done with them. So let's grab number two. I like working on specials start at one and end in the last number that there is and the last number that there is is um well not the last number but somewhere like this one has one two three four crystals in it and then one two three specials so i like to do these crystals first and then leave the specials for last and then it's just fun look at that red crystal Woo! gorgeous we're gonna go ahead and spin this to the side because number two is over here on the wing get my my pen if you guys see my pen this is a pink pen with cork bark or not real not sorry not cork bark but it's a bark from a tree um my friend red from patriotic team made this pen especially for me um and this pen's name is vicky in honor of my mom and every year when DP Pink for BCA comes around, I pull this out and I work on this for the month. And then I put it back into storage and I keep it for next year. And then every once in a while, if I'm working on a painting and I feel like I'm in need of my mom's spirit to be connected with me, I just go grab the pen. go find some more of these tips I love these tips oh, I don't know where I got them from uh, Etsy shop somewhere along the lines of filament fanatic or something like that I think it's what it's called I gotta go see if they're still in business because I I love these tips Alright, I gotta refresh my putty here. This putty has been in this pen for, actually not this pen, because I just pulled this pen out. But it's been, shit, did I break it? But I've been using this tip and other pens. I'm gonna get some of my putty out. Putty, 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 putty. Hi there, Mr. Trapper Dude. What are you doing, Sunny Boy? I got some of my putty. This is my favorite putty here. It smells delightful. Oh yeah, smells so, so schnazzy. Love, 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 love the smell. 
just such a beautiful, beautiful smell. Ooh, ooh, the smell, smell that surrounds you. I've had that song stuck in my head all day. It, it came in perfect, came in perfect timing. but I've had that song stuck in my head all day long. Thank you. All right, let's see. How long have we been here? Jesus, we've been here for 50 minutes already. Where does the time go? I tell you what, time flies when you're having fun. I don't think I... I, I don't even remember what I talked about, to tell you the truth. My brain is a little on the, the worn out side. But I believe I talked about everything I wanted to talk about. So, uh, yeah. I'm... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Hold on. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here. We gotta show this bad boy right here. This... This bad boy right here is special, 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 special. Okay, so check it out. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, just look at it. Just, oh, it's backwards, my bad, my bad, sorry. So it says, a big piece of my heart lives in heaven and she is my mom. Look at that. Oh my god. I did this in a live the other day with my bestie. I really, really hope that we can figure out something that we can go live together because it just makes the event that much more fun being able to go live together. And for some reason, when we tried it with the YouTube live together thing, it just did not cooperate and it was weird every time we tried it on her channel her screen was black and my screen would show up and then when I tried it on my channel her screen was black and on my channel or on my screen was you know showing normal so I don't know if it was A YouTube thing if YouTube's having issues with that um, stream together app for YouTube or if, if I don't know there was issues but we're gonna try to pull something together for you guys here soon to where we can do a live together um, we're gonna try try something else we'll try StreamYard or something different to do that we were really hoping to be able to go live together and work on that that painting that I just showed you guys together but since we couldn't do it we ended up just worked on it together on her live and I was in there telling them when when I was at a certain color and how much I, of that color I got done and okay I'm on the next color and I was, I'm telling y'all, I was in, I was just in the groove with that, and I was just, I was just rocking and rolling, and just knocking them out. I broke this tip, so it's not really picking up my, it's not, it's not picking up my diamonds. Pissing me off, because I love these tips, and when I was cleaning it out, I just happened to crack the side of it, and broke it out, so now the putty's smashing out the side, which really makes me sad because I love these tips but I should have not used my scissors to probably clean that out but oh well life goes on but anyways we are at 55 minutes so I'm gonna wrap up today I hope you all have had a fantastic day 
I hope you all enjoyed the weapon chat. Stay tuned. Um, next week we'll have an unboxing for you guys on Wednesday, and then the week after that, I'm gonna try my best to get into the rhythm of things and pre record videos for the following week ahead of time. Um, and then I'm gonna rotate the whipping chats every other week probably and that way I have an opportunity to show other things I can do other stuff and and still be able to fall back and have a whipping chat to do um, if I don't have anything to unbox which I I don't have anything to unbox besides one painting that I have coming in. Everything else, I am on a no buy. Me and my bestie, Pinky Sworn, to be on a no buy. We've been like, really trying to crack down because we spent way too much money on on the, the old TV over there. They got us good. I'm telling you, we like we're like back and forth on that thing all the time, sh sending each other stuff, and we're just like. Yeah, look, check this out. Yo, whoa, check this out. Whoa, you gotta look at this, you know. And the next thing you know, you got like a, like three hundred dollars worth of stuff in your shopping cart, and you're like, fudge me. So yeah, Timu got us, but we are on a no buy. Pinky promise. Pinky promise, bestie. Good pinky promise, and then. It's the end of it. See, it's, it seals the deal. Hey, get up. Get off there. Get off there. Drop the diamond. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. Shut up, phone. I'm in the middle of something here. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. I will see you guys Saturday morning if anybody is around. No. Sorry. Scratch that. Sunday morning. I don't know why I keep saying Saturday morning. It's going to be Sunday morning. Because I asked people in my last live what day they would like to see it on. And, and people said Sunday morning. So I was like, okay, we can do that. So we're going to try it Sunday morning this week. Maybe I'll try it Saturday morning next week. And see which day works better. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me which day I do it. Um, cause whatever day I stream on YouTube is the other, uh, like if I stream on YouTube on Saturday, I stream on, U on Twitch on Sunday or vice versa. It doesn't really matter to me. But anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I thank you all very much for being here today. I love y'all. Have a great day. I'll see you soon. Have peace. Have love. Get this a heart here. Heart, heart, heart. There we go. Heart. That was weird. I'm looking at the screen trying to figure that out. But peace, love, and respect, and treat each other with respect that you want to be treated with. And I hope you'll have a fantastic day. Bye.